I, uh, I got a couple of things to show here. I got some uh, spool adapters that uh, we designed and made for this uh, new uh, 3D printer we purchased about a week ago. Came without any kind of adapters uh, for the spools. Um, just just uh, short pieces of PVC pipes to look like that you had to uh, set all of your spools into. Just like that. And it had a little nut on here. And the way it was working, you just you just set this spool on here and kind of rattle around a little bit so it wasn't so good. And this uh, particular wire, this particular filament is uh, carbon fiber, very stiff. And we'll just try to uncoil all the time off the spool uh, snag and even broke a few times when printing stuff, so I had to fix it. Anyway, it came up with a good idea. Works great, really, 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 really good. Made some uh, adapter plates. Uh, this is a back plate, fits right over the nut that's uh, part of the unit, like so. Uh, then this is the actual adapter that converts this pipe uh, size into the, this outside size here, which fits these spools. So that goes on over over that. And, and the little pads you see in there, they're a friction. Uh, give you a little bit of friction so you can actually tighten this nut down a little bit to get the right tension that you would want on your wire so it doesn't unspool. Works really good. Um, spool on the right way, might work better. Goes this way. Um, Anyway, the little peg you see there, you just put the hole in. And then this one fits the other side. Same way. And this has the same uh, little pads on there. Put it on. And the, I guess I should show you the nut. You can see it in there. This, this is a nut that would normally just be on there. Just that nut that slides in there. And this, this actually, the nut can slide in or out as needed for proper tolerances for different spools. Um, anyway, put that on. Tighten it up to whatever tension you might want. Pretty close right in there. So it won't, it won't unravel, but it's still uh, free enough to pull. And there's two different... Uh, sizes that I made. One is for these larger spools and this, this one's for the smaller spools. Um, this also has an inset because of the, uh, all the, the pipe that's, the plastic pipe that's coming out of this is just too short so I have to utilize the inset that's built into these uh, wider spools so that I have enough uh, threads to fasten to. But it works the same way. Um, just unscrew it. And uh, this one, this one just has a uh, just a disc. Uh, we're not really, I'm not really, don't really need the friction on both sides. So what I'm doing is on uh, this particular one, I'm just leaving that as a um, kind of like a big washer. Otherwise, it's just the same as the other side was. So. Uh, it's just built to take these bigger spools better. And also these have a shorter tab. Uh, so I, had, I had to make a little bit shorter thing on this one. Anyway, um, they both work well. Uh, I'm not seeing any problem uh, with either one. And the thing is, is <laughs> kind of looks right. So that's pretty important. Trying to make nice stuff to have nice stuff to make uh, nice stuff with. Anyway, that's the, uh, the whole thing. Thought I'd like to make a short video here. We'll see what we'll do with it.